Meantime, the Fox weather, also your Hurricane HQ, keeping the tabs on the main development region where models are starting to show a little uptick in tropical activity, including a way of getting ready to emerge off the African coast. There's another one behind that. Brian Norcross, the Fox weather hurricane specialist, noting the tropical ocean is still blanketed with Saharan dust and dry air, but some reliable computer forecast models indicate that this disturbance is carrying enough moisture that it has a chance of surviving its trek to the Caribbean. Let's get right to it. Great to hear and go over these discussions with Brian Norcross, an expert who's been doing this for so long. And of course, Britta, we're waiting for this area to wake up. We have been dealing with round upon round of not only strong winds, but Saharan dust. And then we start to look because this could be the first uptick in activity out of this region. And of course, storms that come out of this region, they have more time to develop. They often get yes. stronger. Yeah, it's kind of a double-edged sword, right? You yeah. want the the longer timeline, so mm -hmm. you have time to look at it, have more computer model data, have a greater sense of where we're going with it in the future. But unfortunately, to have that opportunity of exposure to warm water allows for larger, bigger, badder storms. So here's the position that we're talking about right now. We have this disturbance that's going to be coming off the coast of Africa. Again, this is a signature that we tend to see this time of year. Mm -hmm. We do have available moisture, but we also have some Saharan dust. That's so to the north. again, we'll, we'll see how things work out as this emerges. Yeah. And then you think about, uh, so as this moves off to the west, the trade winds carrying it off to to the west here, this disturbance may be finding a little bit of pocket. It does have a lot of dust around it, but this fast moving system continues to track through, taps into a little bit of perhaps some moisture, but you can see the dust on the northern side, the moisture on the southern mm -hmm. side of this. So there is a little bit of a window for this to But to get all you some. need is for a little bit of that circulation to survive. Right there. And then if it gets closer to yeah. the Caribbean and the Gulf, and we've made it through these hurdles and these things get can be a buffer to us and mm -hmm. prevent development. Development. If it's just enough, then it gets closer to an environment that is more favorable, and that's when it gets concerning because, of course, it's closer to land. Yeah, exactly. You start thinking about uh, Hispaniola and a lot of the islands there as well, and then eventually closer to the U.S. mainland. When the chance, we look at the chance for tropical development, it is relatively low for the next 10 days, but again, the chance is there. It just needs that little window. Here's an interesting look at the models. This is really, really great. You're looking at the European and the GFS, and we're looking at some closer to Puerto Rico, but Google AI and the artificial intelligence forecast system for the ensemble here for the European, all very interesting how they go a little farther north. And this is something that kicked in July 1st. But we'll watch this closely with you and we'll bring you the latest on yeah, this. Yeah, and with these new available models that they've run them in retrospect on other scenarios have done very well, mm -hmm. it's just worth watching. Yeah. <laughs>